so first of all, I mean, I come from Bhagalpur, Bihar, and I'm very grateful to all my teachers in Mount Assisi School. Uh, they they were the one to to teach me. But if you ask me, my favorite teacher, uh, I don't have any doubt in my mind. Uh, you know, it has to be my mother, uh, Mrs. Vibha Mishra. I have got a couple of uh, things to share with with parents watching this uh, around the world. Couple of things. So uh, the first thing was that I found that my mother was very innovative. Uh, you know, so so the first thing is that say when I was struggling with greater than or less than. You know, when I was growing up, that's, those are the first things that you that you learn about in, in mathematics. And my mother was very innovative to say that the greater number points the fist towards the smaller number. You know, so that, that was my first brush with innovation. And that was my first brush with how to make things very real life and how to make things very not so complicated for children who are learning. The second is that, uh, you know, one of the aspects that I borrowed from her when I started teaching was never to make my students feel stupid. You know, so if they ask me a question, I'm not supposed to uh, make them feel that, oh, God, what kind of a question have you asked me? So I think, you know, constantly encouraging children has been the other aspect that I have learned from my mother growing up all these years. The, the third is uh, she never compared me uh, with the other students of my class. I think she was very clear in understanding that I have a different journey as every other child in the class has. So there was no comparison. It was like, how do I grow at my own pace? And more importantly, how do I fall in love with learning? So I think those are the tricks that I picked up, you know, when, when I became a teacher, so not extended to my own students. And I, I saw great results out of that. Uh, one, one instance I, I remember very clearly is how much did she work hard? You know, for example, um, uh, there used to be, uh, you know, I mean, it's a common question in English and, and other subjects, uh, tell us the meaning of the word in italics, right? So you'd be asked this kind of question in, in your exam, in, 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 your, in, your, in your high school. My mother could not write italics and she would prepare these question papers for me before I would actually go on to face the actual exam. And since she could not write italics, she would use color pens to underline it. So she was that meticulous and she was that she would think through every single thing to help me do well in, in exams and in life. So I, I think I have taken all those little stuff. I will I'll tell you so just imagine this an Indian kitchen, a housewife, that's my mother, uh, taking care of a family of eight that included my grandparents and my brother and my, my, my father and uh, my uncle and my aunt. And I'm sitting there in the kitchen on the table and my mother is making that wonderful uh, potato curry for, for the family and teaching me English, math, science and whatnot. So that is the vision that I, that I recollect. The last thing that, that I must share about, uh, about my growing up years or things that actually made me a teacher was when I moved to standard one, I remember that we suddenly had 14 subjects to study. Like from, from, from kindergarten to standard one, there's a, there's a huge difference. And I would get very confused if I remember things right or not. And my mother was the one who, who told me one simple trick that changed my life forever. She said that you have to study everything in a way that if your juniors tomorrow ask you a question or ask for help, you should be in a position to explain it to them. So everything I read or learned from then on, it was with, with a view and with, with, with a thought that if my juniors asked me this question five years down the line or three years down the line to explain a concept to them, will I be able to do that? And I think that made me a teacher in every which way possible. So I think, I think that insight uh, and, and, and the last thing that I would appeal to all the parents is never spoon feed your child but always guide him or her and always motivate him or her. So those are the two things that I, that I clearly remember from my childhood and from my favorite teacher, that's my mother.